And welcome back one and all to part 2 of our Ryan Conspiracy Let's Play! Right then, last episode we sabotaged the shuttle, which now gives us a bit more time to find out who murdered our son. So, first thing on the agenda, we need to go speak to his work colleagues, the other scientists, and find out what the hell Danny was actually doing when he got killed. So, to level 2! And it is this door here. Now we need to talk to the head scientist, and that is Bernard, or Bernard, depending. You're one of the technicians, aren't you? I'm chief technician. So you were Danny's boss? Yes. I was devastated by what happened. Well, how well did you know him? How well did you know Danny? He was a conscientious worker. Enthusiastic, friendly, good team player. Hmm. Who did Danny work with most of the time? He was with me and Roland researching the Orion effect. Okay, what's, what's the, the Orion, Orion effect? effect? Where have you been the past decade? It's only the biggest astronomical event since the Denebola supernova. Don't I have no idea what that is either. I've been preoccupied. Could you recap for me? Okay, let's see. Do you know the Horse's Head Nebula? Seen from Earth, it's in the constellation of Orion. Yeah, Quadrant 5, isn't it? Should be near here. It is here. Or at least it was, until Devil's Gate appeared. The black hole? You're saying it sucked a whole nebula in? Well, why wasn't it detected long ago? Well, surely you'd have been able to see it from Earth. Jesus! Galileo could have seen it. If it yeah, bitch slapped by Galileo. Yes, he could. Way? You mean it's recent? It was never on my star charts. I was in this quadrant four years ago. I knew nothing about it. It appeared 12 years ago, just before the end of the Corporation War. Black holes don't just appear out of nowhere. This one did. And that's the Orion Effect. Hmm. What do you know about Danny's death? He went out to the probe as part of his job. At the end of the day, it was down to me to ensure his safety. And I failed. How do you think it happened? Well, the controls of the scout were rendered inoperable. The only thing that could do that would be an energy surge. Do you have any records of energy readings from the black hole for that time? I can look them up for you. Lord, there was a three megawatt flare emanating from the probe, not the black hole. What could give off that much energy? I don't know. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Aha! So, someone, well, booby trapped the probe. Next thing on our list is go to see uh, Maya, the repair guy, who had trouble with the commander before Danny's death. Little thing, that Orion effect they're on about, never really discussed any more in this game. A bit surprising considering it's actually called the Orion Conspiracy. Yeah, maybe an idea that got sort of completely canned. And it turns out Devlin McCormack isn't like the master of the universe and knows everything. Just because he says there's no black hole there, means there's no black hole there. Utter fail. Anyway, we have to cross the entire station to get to Maya, so we get in this lovely little tram thing. Oh, come on, hurry up. And here we are! There's the captain from Megami Hudson. No point even talking to him, he doesn't tell you anything. And you can't actually get into their part of the lab. But here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the best characters in this game. Tell you what though, we'll have that. Bonjour, Mayor! Uh, excuse me. What do you want? I got work to do. 
How well did you know Danny? The boy had initiative. He used to fix anything that went wrong in his quarters himself. Ergo, I never had to speak to him. Marvelous! Do you know any weapon that could give off a 3 megawatt reading? Only thing I know of would be a concussion charge. Are there any concussion charges on board? I fucking hope not. Those are dangerous <laughs> sons of bitches. Uh, which obviously means there are concussion time, charges on board. Oh, Mayor, why do you have to be so hostile? I also would like to point out the uh, brilliant fact that our jacket is actually a bit like the TARDIS. I do love it when adventure games do that. Right then, next on our list, we have to go all the way back to the research lab to speak to the other technician, Roland. That's because Roland's a bit of a gossip. If, if there's anything going on in the station, he knows about it. So we're going to go all the way down there and find out if he knows anything about these here concussion charges. The chances of us, well, the chances of us just getting that information are very slim. But before we go there, we're going to pick up some supplies for later in the game. And we've just picked up... They look sharp and strong. These! They will come in very handy. As I said before, where possible, we will try and grab stuff as we, uh, we come across it. To really save on some of this backtracking. Because there's a hell of a lot of it. I mean, I can't even think of the amount of times you've got to go to and from the bloody labs. So, right, we're almost there, though. And it's not like Roland's going to send us on a wild goose chase, which is going to be, like, across the station three floors down, is it? Oh, wait. Yes, he will. Because he's a tub of lard! Bonjour! Hi there. Say, got any chocolate on you? Uh, sorry, I'm right out. Damn! I already used up my allowance for this week. Damn! That really doesn't surprise me. How well did you know, Danny? I didn't have anything against him personally. I let people live their lives the way they want to, providing it doesn't affect me. What the hell could he possibly mean by that? Are there any concussion charges on board? I shouldn't tell you. But maybe if you did something for me, I could point you in the right direction. Okay. What do you want me to do? Well, Chandra makes pies real good. Almost as good as my mom's. But he says I'll hog it all to myself. Maybe I will. But then I don't eat salads or bran cereal like the rest of them. So I think I should get more than the average share of pie. Sounds, uh, fair enough. Right. And I know he's made a blueberry pie, and I want it. If you get it for me without anyone knowing, I'll tell you what you need to know. I've really got to go now. Don't forget, if you see any chocolate, it's mine. I really don't like you. Can't really argue with his logic, though. The kitchen is down on level 4, B4. So, yes, you've guessed it, we have to cross the station, get in the elevator, go down four floors, and find the fucking kitchen. Excuse my bloody language. But it's appropriate in this game, everyone swears, pretty much. Here we go, in the elevator. I think it's level 4 anyway. Okay, we have to go all the way around to the other side. Would it really hurt to have put a fast travel system in? Eh. Oh well. The game more than makes up for this. And hello, Mr. Dog. I don't... you can't ask why the animals are on board, but I don't really serves any purpose. Okay, kitchen! Stroke, dining room thingy. 
Very Star Trek. Very uh, next generation of Star Trek, actually. Right, Chandra. How well did you know Danny? He only drank socially and never complained about the food. We had a couple of conversations, but he mostly stuck with his colleagues. What do you mm -hmm. know about Danny's death? It was tragic. Cast a shadow over the whole station. It still hasn't lifted. Did anything unusual happen before Danny's death? I get to hear most of the gossip, but there wasn't anything worth noting. Thank you okay. for talking to me. That'll do for a minute. For. If we look in the larder, we can see this here pie we're meant to get. But if we try and take Mr. it... Cormac, please stay away from my larder. He doesn't like it. So we need to distract him. What is your job? I do the catering. Sure, there's automated food and drink dispensers. But if everybody had to use those for six months at a time, there'd be a mutiny. So I'm here to give a little variety. The human touch, as it were. What's it mm. like to work here? Since I'm just about the only person on Cerberus who can cook, it's very busy. If it wasn't for Bina, I'd go crazy. Where to be married next year? Now that's important for later in the game, but for now... What is your best dish? We need My to ask about this. the best in the galaxy. Everyone say so. Hmm, well I've had some very good korma in my time. I kinda doubt a young man like you could compete. I'll prove it to you. I'll prepare a dish for you, and if it's not the best you've ever tasted, I'll give up my job as a chef and join the security branch. You must be pretty sure that I'll like it. You'll love it. I guarantee it. Thank you for talking to me. It's what I'm here for. Now you may be thinking, well, how the hell do we get that pie then? What's going to happen? He is going to cook us a delicious chicken korma. We, however, need to uh, sabotage the korma, as it were. Now to do that, we need to go down to the supply rooms, pick up a few items we're going to need for later. And we're going to need to find a rat. He'll come out, he'll see the rat, he'll get freaked out, giving us the time to go in and get this pie. And then we can get that information from Tubby Tubby Lard Lard, also known as Roland. God, I hate that guy. So, yep, you've guessed it. Up to level 2. All the way across to the D elevator. Then down to level 4. If, um, if anyone watching this wants me to sort of skip these travelling bits out, please let me know and I'll quite happily do so. But for now... Oh, hang on. Uh, no, he got away. Never mind. We do need to speak to him at some point. Not particularly about anything important, but we need to at least have you know, made an introduction to say hello for certain events later in the game to actually make sense. Okay, here we are anyway. So down to level 4. Now, these two items. Firstly, Stockist. And a laser welder. Both will be important for later in the game. This will weld just about anything. That gives me some idea of what was in the armory a week before Danny died. It's really important for us to pick up every single item that we can, just to make it so obviously we don't have to backtrack too far. So if anyone can see, there is a rat, and there is its hole. We need to stop it from running back in its rat hole. So first off we're going to get this lamp. And we're going to pop over to the next screen because there's another item that we need for later. Ideally we don't really want to have to come back to this room at all. Okay, so we now have a hammer as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that lamp in front of the rat's hole. Okay, let, wait for it to leave. And like so... It goes completely mental, to be honest. Now we need to be able to click on it if it stays still long enough. And freeze it! 
There we go. That rat is now eligible for one chicken coma. It's the rat that I froze. Now you can get the rat before you go do this chicken coma bit, but you still have to wait a predetermined amount of time for him to actually make it. So you'd have to like go to a different floor and come back. Now that could be seen as quicker, but it'll just uh, it would have been awkward to try and do it on this let's play. So, alright, back to level 2, all the way across, back to the B elevator, and down again. Trust me, all this back and forth is worth it. It's a cracking story here. Tell you what, we'll speak to Kothman while we're here then. You were working with Danny, weren't you? Sometimes, yes. I'm sorry about your loss, Mr. McCormick. We all are. How well did you know Danny? He was a good friend. Whatever happened, no matter how many problems he had, he was there for me when I needed him. Out here, you need all the help you can get just to get by. I'll talk ah. to you later, if I may. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can. Something's not quite right with the way he speaks to us, but he honestly does seem to care about Danny. I just get the feeling he doesn't like us. Not in the same way the Ward doesn't like us, though. Hmm. Some of you may be wondering why we haven't actually gone out of our way to talk to Ward. Ward is the character that spits quite a lot of um, racist comments out. And I'd rather not have those in these videos if I can avoid it. Okay, anyway. Enough about Ward and his uh, disposition between, well, towards anything that isn't him. Back to the kitchen. Okay, here we go. Now I'm sure that chicken korma is absolutely lovely, but I think it needs a bit of rat. Perfect! It's got that very distinct rodent odour. Just how I like, I like more, it. Really? That's not how I like it, but fair enough. Chandra! Hey Chandra, what is this? Yeah Chandra. It's your coma. I left it out for you. Have you seen what's in it? I should have. I made it. It's only chicken. I've really? never seen a furry chicken before. Let's have a look. That's a rat. Is it? Yuck! I don't know how that got in there. Cursed things. They infest this place. I must apologize. Thank heavens you didn't eat it. Why? That's fine. Now you, uh... You stare at that korma for a minute. I shall take this pie. Mission complete. Now that I've added my own special ingredient, I'm not eating it. Well, I think we're going to call it there for a day, folks. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.